Aaron here. Not been out detecting for a little while. There's been quite a lot of bad weather down here on the south coast. A lot of wind, a lot of rain. It's not been very nice. Um, so I am going to be getting out in the in the coming week uh, as the weather has, has uh, picked up a little bit and it's a little bit nicer out there. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bring you a Bluetooth, as you've seen from the description of the video, a Bluetooth uh, connector for your metal detector. Because, um, you know, a lot of us out there use headphones when we're out detecting and sometimes the cable gets in the way unless you've got yourself something like a Deus that is Bluetooth anyway or things of that nature. So, um, yeah, I've got a Bluetooth device here that you can use on your Garrett H250, 300, 200, whatever it is you've got. So let's get to it and let's have a look at the device itself. Okay, so here's the device itself. This particular one is a transmitter and a receiver. Let's have a little look around the box. Not a lot on it. Explains there on the back, transmit, receive. As you can see, there's the charging port in the middle, and this is the on and off button right there. Now, when you turn the unit on, it will automatically start looking for a device to pair with in a receiving mode. If you want to have it in the transmit mode, then you need to have something plugged in to the transmit connector, the uh, the audio there. And that is where your uh, detector will be plugged in. Now with this, you also get a charge cable. There you go. You also get a lead to plug in so that you can plug it in there or in there, depending if you want to receive a signal or transmit a signal. And you also get uh, another one, but this one is slightly different if you want to plug it into some sort of speakers or something like that so there you go those are the things you get now i'm going to be using this with a set of headphones there we go nice set of bluetooth headphones so i can have this connected to my detector bit of a uh, bit of this stuff on the back bit of sticky back velcro and uh, then i can stick this onto my detector shaft <laughs> and uh, also use these headphones so I can go wireless whilst I'm detecting. Now, if you're gonna use this sort of setup, I mean, this will work with any type of Bluetooth headphones. It doesn't have to be these. They'll work with any Bluetooth headphones, okay? Um, so let me quickly show you how it works. Let's just plug that into the transmit section and we'll turn that on. It's got charge in it, there we go. So now it's now on transmit and it's looking for something to pair with. I'm just going to turn the headphones on. There we go. So now those two items are pairing up if they haven't already paired. And that's how you do it. You have to make sure that you have something plugged into this side in order for it to plug in to the... Uh, the transmit mode and pair up with your headphones. Yeah? Okay. There you go. So they're connected. So, just turn that off. There we go. And we'll turn that one off as well. There we go. Now, if you are going to use this on your detector, because I have obviously, I've tested this in the house just to see if it works. Okay, before I brought you this video. If you are going to use it with your Garrett, you are also going to need to purchase yourself one of these because the lead that comes with it, as you see, is the small lead. So to connect to your detector, you're going to need one of those. But also, and this so far is the only drawback that I've found with this unit, you will need one of these. You will need a volume control because the signal that comes out with the Garrett, as we found last time when I used the uh, FM headphones and transmitter, there's a video here, video link at the top to the, uh, the FM transmitter that I tried in the past, if you've not seen it. The signal coming from the Garrett is so loud that when it goes into this box, it, it slightly distorts. So this little volume unit here will take the volume down for you just a touch then you can hear it nice and clear and it all works fine so that connected to your box then that lead 
plugged into your Garrett unit works a treat. So I'm going to be testing this out in the next video. The box itself and the headphones. I'll go out and about and do a bit of detecting. I shall use this whilst I'm out there and see how I get on with it. Uh, I'll probably be out with Mike and Steve when we do that. And I'll give you an honest review in the field of how it worked. Uh, this was less than £10. These were just over £5. So, yeah, you're looking, what, just over £15 for the pair. And you can go wireless with your detector via Bluetooth. Like I say, I'll give them a try, see how they work out, and I'll let you know in a future video. Thanks for watching. If you are out and about, good luck, happy hunting. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video, out and about, doing a bit of detecting. Till then, cheers, ta-ra.